Hello, students and scholars. My name is Ms. Pagan, and I am a remote teacher. I'm also a virtual content specialist. And today, I'd like to use a Google Jamboard to support you as you complete the Explore section of this lesson. In the case that you have not used the Google Jamboard, I'd like to show, rather, I'd like to show you how to use the tools first. On the left-hand side, you'll have an icon that is a pen. You can click on the pen and utilize any of the colors that are here. Today, we will be using the pen tool. We will also be using the brush to fill or color or shade. You will also find an eraser, a select tool, a sticky note, an add image tool, an add shape tool and add a text box where you can place text or your thinking or writing in any area. And finally, my favorite, the laser tool. Today we're in module 8C, day 10. And our focus question is, how can you partition circles and rectangles into equal parts with halves, thirds, and fourths? We will be partitioning, or we will create parts of circles and rectangles. Our parts will be equal, the same size and the same shape. We will be focusing in the explore section on halves, or one of two parts. Let's begin the explore section. You might complete the introduction section on your own or with your teacher. In this explore section, the directions state, circle the shapes that have two equal shares with one share shaded. Students and scholars, look at the four shapes that are in the blue square and select by clicking on the pen, circling, the shape that has two equal shares or two equal parts and one of those shares shaded. You may press pause and press play when you are ready to continue. Students and scholars, you might have selected the first shape. This shape has two parts that are equal and one of the parts is shaded. You might have also selected the third shape. This also is a shape with two equal parts and one part that is shaded. The second shape has two equal parts. Mm, no, students and scholars, the parts are not equal. They are not the same size. The third shape does not have two equal parts. There are three equal parts. Let's continue to the next section of this explore. The directions state shade one half or one of the two parts of the shapes that are split into two equal shares. Now students, we will select the shapes that have two equal shares, then click on the paint tool by clicking on the pen and the paintbrush a color and shaded or rather shading one of the two equal shares. Students and scholars, you may press pause and press play when you are ready to continue. You might have selected the first shape. There are two equal shares. You can click on the paint tool and shade one of the two equal shares. Also, you might have selected the second shape. There are two equal shares and you can shade one of the two equal shares. In this third shape, there are two parts, but they are not equal. In the fourth shape, there are three parts that are equal shares. Let's continue to the next explore section. It says shade one half of the shapes that are split into two equal shares. Follow the steps that we completed in the previous slide. 
select the shape, click on the paint tool and shade one of the two equal shares. You may press pause and press play when you are ready to continue. Students and scholars, I'll select a different color. And you'll notice the first shape has two equal shares. So you can color or rather shade one of the two equal shares. Feel free to use the eraser to make any corrections. In the second shape, you'll also notice that there are two parts and you can also shade one of the two equal shares. Finally, in the last shape, there are four parts. And since we are only shading one half of the shape that are split into two equal shares, where we won't shade that, that shape or rather that third shape. Let's continue to the next explore section. It says use the line tool to partition the shapes to show halves. Students and scholars, you can click on the pen tool and then draw a line to make a part or to rather partition the shape to show halves. You can show halves by splitting the shape into two equal parts. You can press pause and press play when you are ready to continue. Students and scholars, this first shape, we can use the pen tool and create a line right through the center. This will partition the shape into two equal halves. In the second shape, we can decide to draw a line through the center from top to bottom or from left to right and partition the shape into two equal parts to show halves. And finally, in the third shape, we can select to draw a line from top to bottom in the center or from left to right in the center or through the center to partition the shape to show halves. Let's continue to the next explore section. Here it says, use the line tool to partition the shapes to show halves, then you're going to shade one half by using the fill color tool or the paint tool. So we'll partition in the same way that we did in the previous slide, but then we'll click on the paint tool and shade one of the two equal halves. You may press pause, complete the section and press play when you are ready to continue. Students and scholars, you can click on the pen tool. Partition the shape into two equal halves or two equal shares. Then click on the paint tool, select a color and shade one of those two equal shares. This will allow you to show one half of the shape. Students and scholars, we have just completed the explore section. You can continue to partition and to shade on the remainder of this page. We have partitioned into halves and shaded one half of a rectangle. We have partitioned circles and shown halves in each of the circles. We have also shaded one half of the shape to show one half of each of the two equal shares. And finally, students and scholars, we circled shapes that had two equal shares with one share shaded. This is Ms. Fagan. I have just completed the explore section with you with the focus of how can you partition circles and rectangles into equal parts with halves, thirds, and fourths. And we paid an extra special focus on halves. Again, this is Ms. Fagan with you. Please feel free to write comments or questions in our YouTube page.